Okay, so we're happy to onboard you. Uh, it's going to be super quick and easy. I will set you up with a demo account. I will help you setting everything up, and then I'll guide you through how to use the phone app. So that tomorrow, when you're going to test the MG of your friend, you're going to know how, already how to use it. And in any, any case, if you need help tomorrow morning when you're doing the test, just feel free to send me an email, and I'll, I'll be happy to help you. Okay, so the first thing that I need is the email that you are going to use for your demo account. My email address is Barry, which is B-A-R-R-I-E. Okay, let me... B-A-R-R-I-E. I-E, yeah. At... Okay, one second, let me type it in. So B-A-R-R-I-E. Okay, perfect. So I will, I will create a, an email, uh, sorry, an account for you. Okay. And uh, you should be receiving... Um, you should be receiving an email for to reset the password okay. okay so i just sent it to you so now you should receive an email Perfect. so welcome to vault test use the reset here and basically uh, it will ask you to reset to set up a password and it will bring you to the profile settings page okay. so let me know when you're there one sec So password, terms and conditions, accept. Profile incomplete, click here to update your information. Correct, click there and <clears throat> just fill in all your info so that we know when you're doing the test you receive all the complete information. So there should be name, last name, phone number, company name, time zone, location. And let me know when you filled in those first six things Please. so we can proceed. Recipient's email address again, Barry okay. BC. Test. So I would leave recipient email address empty because by default, all the reports, you're going to receive them on your account email. So okay. at bccars.com. So unless you want some other email to also receive the reports automatically. No, no, that, you that's, can have them here, but I that's good. Be good so just yep. yours. Yeah, that, that's, that's great. Vault test report format, leave it on no, so that you don't generate JPEG only PDF, so leave it on no. Okay. And then I think you're going to use miles yes. and degrees centigrade. Yep, that'd be good. Okay, so just select miles and degrees centigrade and click on save. Okay. That's... And that's it. Okay, so now the only thing that you need to remember from this dashboard is the Voltus unique ID. Do you see it? If you scroll down in the settings, you're going to see your Voltus unique yeah, ID. Yes. Okay. Uh, save it somewhere or, or remember it or type it down because we're going to need it to log in the app. All right, one second. Okay. Okay. So did you already download the testing app, the power yes. test control app? Is it P yes. PK something or other? PK yeah, PKC. PKC. Check control. Yes. Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna log in and share the screen from my phone, so we can um, I, I can show you directly everything from the phone. Right. I need to put yeah. the customer code in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let, let me just show you. Okay. Let me just join from the phone. I will share my screen. Okay. Do you do you see my screen? Yes. From this? Okay. Perfect. So just open the PKC app. Yep. Yeah, done that. Just. First name, last name, and email, just type in your... And then click on, I have a user code. Yes. And just type in your user code, your customer code, and click on the question mark to verify it. And it should tell you that the code is valid. Code is valid. Perfect. So now, the next step is to select the car. So tomorrow, if you're going to test an MG4, I'm just going to select MG and select MG4. And on the MG4, all you're going to need from the testing kit is the vault test, the OBD number two, so the OBD device. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for Tesla, oh, the only thing you need is the OBD device. Right, yeah. If you want to test a different car, for example, a Tesla, the app is also going to show you what kits, what ah. of the kit you need. So, and if you see, everything is numbered here. 
And the numbers that you see, so in this case it's two, seven, and nine, are the numbers in the kit so that the user cannot make any mistake. He knows exactly what he needs to use. So we made this to be very easy to use and avoid any kind of error. It's foolproof. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll exactly. be a good test for that. <laughs> awesome. And then the next step is going to show you where the OBD device is. On most cars, it's below the steering wheel somewhere. So um, you're going to look for it below the steering wheel. And then, uh, of course, you're going to turn on Bluetooth and turn on location. So I'll just turn on the Bluetooth and location. And uh, in theory, it's going to ask you to link with the device. Um, and once you're linked with the device, you're just going to select it from the drop down and you're good to go. Everything is set and you can start testing the car. There's only a few things that you must do before testing the car. So the car must be turned on and it must be in park position. Okay. So not in drive, not in reverse, not in neutral, in park position. To be sure that you're in the right mode, what I usually do is turn on the car, put it in drive, move it five centimeters and put it in park again, just to be sure you're in the right mode. Yeah. And the car must not be charging and all the doors and the trunk must be closed. Yeah. yeah. And once everything is ready, you just click on the, this, this lens here and it's gonna start detecting the car. And of course, and now I'm not connected to yeah. anything, so it's gonna give me an error. At this point, usually tells you car identified as an, an um, MG Model 4 uh, with a specific VIN. And then it will tell you proceed with a testing procedure and you're gonna just press the start testing procedure and it will run the test. And in usually one or two minutes, depends on the car, you get all the data. It will tell you report generation complete. You will receive the report via email. And in 10 seconds, you're gonna receive the report via email. And um, it's very easy to use. The procedure is the same on every car. On the Tesla, you need these adapter cables. And what I'm gonna do I will send you some uh, demo videos so that you can see how to test uh, on cars. I will send you a step-by-step -step guide if you need any help or a reference so that you have them. Okay. Mm. I've just while, while you were talking, I've just gone on to Citroen and it's showing AMI, so it, it'll test an AMI as well, will it? Yeah, correct. Oh, brilliant! Well, I, I I'll look forward to doing that on mine. Uh, okay. Yeah. I've had it. Actually, uh, I've never personally tested an AMI, but uh, right. I'm curious to see. Yeah. If you have an audience, just do it. I'll, I'll be curious to see it. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll certainly do that. Um, well, I'll, I'll try and perhaps do that today, to be honest, just so as I'm familiar with it. Um, yeah, awesome. Yeah, absolutely, awesome. yeah. I mean, honestly, it looks like a great piece of kit. And it, there's more and more um, reports now and, and stories in the news about people won't buy them and there's only 30% of dealers will buy a car without a battery health certificate. So you, I'm sure it's a great time for you. And, and I also love the, the silent salesman aspect of, uh, of, of your tests, which um, I, I noticed on Tony's uh, LinkedIn. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, I, I think it's, it's, it's something everybody should have. So, um, I, you know, I wish you well. Yeah. I absolutely wish you well. I think, I think it, it, it's, it's the way forward. So, I appreciate uh, that. Thanks. And if you need any any help during the test, if you find any problem, just feel free to send me an email or a message. I'll I'll help you out. And yeah, we believe it's it's needed because there's a lot of uncertain, like real uncertainty about used EVs. Yeah. And this product should solve it. Um, no, that will be great. It also helps dealers making more money because sure. they can sell this report as an added service. As an upsell during servicing, you know, yeah. you have a tire change, brake oil change. Abs absolutely, yeah. We sell a battery report. Well, it's all from from my point of view. It's already useful now. Uh, I, as I say, I, I think it's invaluable, and I think it should be done on every every car, uh, you know, at every dealership to put people's minds at rest. So, I, yeah, let me let me use it, and I'll uh, I'll give you my honest feedback, but. I'm, I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm, I'm well impressed so far. I really am.
Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for keeping awesome. you waiting again. Thank, thank you very much for your help on this and uh, and giving me the opportunity to test it. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. And I'm lo really looking forward to see you testing it. And, yeah. Uh, I will uh, reach, reach out back to you maybe tomorrow just to hear feedback yeah. after you've done all these tests. Okay? Okay. Thank you. See you later. Awesome. Have a great day, Mary. And you. Bye-bye. Okay, so uh, I'm here at Just Citroen and uh, Mark is letting me just go around and check his EVs using this Volt Test battery state of health diagnostic tool. When, when I got here, one of the salesmen had some customers sat in a, an electric vehicle, Hyundai Kona. While they were sat in the vehicle, I was talking to the salesman and he says, it's Sunday today, by the way, it's Sunday, and uh, the customers love the car but wouldn't consider buying it without a battery state of health certificate and he didn't know who i was he, he just seen me around here a couple of times when i've been to borrow cars um and i said well funny enough guess what well, guess what i've got so uh i didn't want to do it in front of the customers anyway mark turned up and mark is very very positive about electric cars loves them and no do it do it you know go, go and do it now Anyway, I did it, and uh, the battery state of health was 100%, and the, the customers are just out in the car now. They've gone for a test drive. They were going to go around and look at other vehicles. They've now seen the battery state of health certificate. I, I've emailed it to Mark. It shows on my phone straight away. It does literally take two minutes to do it. So it, it's just, you know, no time at all. And to be fair, you can do it in front of the customers. It's not one you prepared earlier you do it two minutes and i'll show you how you do it now because it is actually foolproof pkc like so click play click through it's a citron citron it's got on miami this is an ec4 five and two this is this is a new one for me so five, converter adapter cable. Or, all right, so that must be, you probably can't get to it or this won't plug in. But we'll see, so we need both these. We need that and this. Click on play. Right, so it's showing, <laughs> that, that fucks me for a minute because it's showing on the left hand side. So that mustn't fit in there. So what we need to do is click that in there. And then this in there. Make sure the door shut. Click next. No EOBD found, so what we have to do is scan there. So next scan in Bluetooth. Engines on. Vehicle showing 20,510 miles. It's picked up. We'll go to the next one. Configuration complete. These are the things you have to match. Make sure all that's done. Click OK and then diagnose. And we're on. 12.27 there, car identified, yes, click OK. Now I have to keep pressing the brake occasionally. That's so the ECU doesn't go to sleep and the tool can still read it. Connected successfully. All data has been collected successfully. That's how quick it is. Sending data. Data sent successfully. The certificate will be available shortly on the Vault Test portal. If we go into emails, Vault Test, new EV certificate, PDF, click on OK. 100% state of health, 20,506. Showing 20,510 on the dash. Not too bad. There you 
go. There's all the balance. Shows your selling balance. Imbalance health rating, four out of five. What could be simpler than that? Customer peace of mind. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you very much. Vault test. I'm going to do some vans this week as well. So look forward to that. See you later. Bye-bye.